Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message. And then we're asking, you know, who is giving you the evil eye? Who is working against you? Okay. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Just getting this sage lit. But Spirit, what do we have here? Who is giving my Virgos the evil eye? Who is working against them here? For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> okay, going forward. What are we getting stuck on? Bottom of the deck, yeah. Confirmation, it's it's the cycles here. Some of you, some of my Virgos, you're on some sort of journey here, right? With the cycles, the family and tribe, and then you have discover your life purpose. Some of you, you're on your divine path. And it's almost like you follow the signs and the synchronicities and the downloads from your ancestors and your angels. I feel like whoever this is that is working against you here is someone who is upset that you ended some sort of chapter with them. Because the first card that came out, it says rejection. And then the card that's going forward, it says wild. And the wild card is a number 15, which could be significant, but it boils down to a six. And I feel like this is you taking that leap of faith with this lantern and going on, like I said, that kind of journey to discover why it is that you're here or what it is that you're supposed to be doing. But this card always kind of makes me feel like, do you know what, some of her goes, this takes courage. And this takes strength. Not only to leave certain people, places and things behind that no longer serve you, but to kind of step into the unknown as well. Now, with it boiling down to a six, it makes me think about the six of wands, success and victory. I'm also hearing the word willpower. There could also be people here working against you because maybe you are removing people's masks or maybe you are just seeing people for who they are and what they're really about. And sometimes people don't like that. Sometimes people want to walk around with the masks on so, you know, they can get the outcomes out of situations that they want. OK, <clears throat> what is this? Who is working against my Virgos? Who's giving them the evil eye? Thank you, Spirit. Rejection. All right, one more shuffle. What is this rejection energy? So, yeah, look at that. Straight out, the full card. This is freedom. This is, like I said, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Show me more. And it's almost like this woman has a crystal in her hand. Some of you could definitely be working with crystals more. Maybe you've always worked with them. This also looks like a body of water. But it's an energy of trusting. She has her eyes closed. You see that she's almost like on the edge of the cliff. She's only holding on to that one branch. But she doesn't look afraid. And then you have the Ten of Wands. So again, this energy of you dropping burdens here, right? Freeing yourself 
from any kind of heavy weight that, I don't know, doesn't belong to you, that you just don't want to deal with anymore. People, situations that have been draining you of energy, resources, finances, emotions. Damn. <laughs> So we got the Ten of Wands, we got the Ten of Swords with the full card. I feel like this is also an energy. Look how she's walking and you see how she got all them birds above her head. Again, that's an energy of messages, downloads, your intuition. I really feel like you're turning your back on people who have betrayed you, people that gossip, lie about you. Just letting it all go. What is the full card? Who's giving my Virgos the evil eye? You have the three of pentacles. Yeah. This talks about maybe some of you, you know, maybe um, the three of pentacles can talk about building, you know, a teamwork, collaboration. But some of you, you may be walking away from third party situations. Maybe some of you are choosing to work on your own. What is the fool and the three of pentacles? Yeah, look at that. Five of wands. Conflict, drama, chaos. Hmm. This card always makes me kind of think of crabs in a barrel. These are people also who feel like somehow, some way they may be struggling in life and they may feel like it's unfair that you just kind of get to walk away or turn your back on them or... These could be people who feel like, you know, why is your life so easy and why is mine so hard? What's the Ten of Wands? The Knight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands. For some of my Virgos, these are people that you turned your back on because... You know what, like I said, it's either you don't want to deal with someone who may be in player energy, who is not committing to you, who wants to explore their options, people who make reckless decisions. I see some of my Virgos at home just kind of celebrating. Being happy in your own skin, in your own environment. Just focused on you. Maybe animals as well. I see a horse dancing in the back there. But the Eight of Wands talks about moving forward. Things happening at great speed for you. Because you're focused. What is this Ten of Swords? Who is giving my Virgos the evil eye? Thank you, Spirit. You have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it landed on the Five of Wands. These are people that wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted you... To stay blind. They wanted you to, you know, continue to take part in these little games. What is the Ten of Swords or the Eight of Swords? The Nine of Wands. Even if these were people that were trying to keep you in some sort of mental prison, right? And they can do that by how they treat you, the situations they put you in. You know, if someone puts you in a third party situation, sometimes, you know, the other person will go into their mind and say, well, you know, why have they got another person? Is it something that I'm doing wrong? Am I lacking something? Am I not good enough? No, that's a mind game. But I'm, what I'm seeing here, Virgos, with this Nine of Wands is an energy of you pushing through and not giving up. The Nine of Wands, yes, is a wounded warrior. Sometimes a nine of one can be on the verge of saying, you know what, I have had enough. But somehow and from somewhere you find that little energy inside that keeps pushing you forward. And it could be the energy from your ancestors and your angels. Yeah, look how I picked that up. It's the wrong deck, but still the star at the bottom of the deck. You don't give up on your hopes and your dreams. And then your ancestors and angels, they come in to help inspire you. Put those little signs and synchronicities in front of you to say, hey, Virgo, listen, we see what you went through, right? 
And we see that maybe you was all in your head about it. But guess what? It's time to get up, brush yourself off and let's go. And then depending on the inner strength that you have within you, you'll be like, all right, you know what, ancestors, I hear you. Because I'm hearing with this bear card, it's almost like this bear is hugging this boy. Because on this card, it talks about progress and achieving your goals here. But some of you, your ancestors know what it is that you're here to do. So they're not going to let you give up. This bear card talks about leadership. But you also have this word of protection. What is this wild? The Seven of Swords. Who's giving my Virgos the evil eye? Thank you, Spirit. You have the Two of Cups. We have the Lovers in the Reverse. We have this Empress coming out here. What's the Seven of Swords and the Empress? The Ace of Pentacles. See, for some of you, I feel like this is someone that maybe had some sort of idea to either, um, for some of you, you know, maybe trap you with a child. It's almost like planting themselves to you forever or binding themselves to you forever. For others of you, there is something here where, like I said, I don't know if you are doing something here when it comes to your finances, right? The Empress is someone who is very abundant or maybe you're just very good at manifesting things. Maybe you're very good at bringing your visions to reality. Maybe you're just very good at creating. Some of these people had some sort of plan or whatever this Seven of Swords energy is. I'm going to clarify it. About maybe stopping your finances or getting finances out of you. And for some of you, it looks like their way that they were thinking of doing this, right? Is to come in and make you some sort of false proposal. Some sort of false offer. Lovers in the reverse. And I'm telling you, for some of you, this is someone who is working against you. Because maybe this is an energy of now unrequited love. Someone you don't feel the same about. You don't see them the same. What's the two of cups? The star card. And the hermit. Magician at the bottom of the deck with the two of swords. Four of pentacles and judgment. For some of you, if this is someone who was doing some sort of spell work on you, especially if they were kind of like paying someone here, I don't know if they're out of pocket now. I don't know if this is someone who is at a crossroads because now they can't afford something or they need to kind of hold back. I don't know if this is someone who was seeing you as some sort of possession. But the judgment with a chariot, you're free. This is a missed opportunity for this person. I feel like for some of you, this may even be someone, this is that, it gives that energy of love is strange. I don't know if this is someone who had some sort of hope to reconcile with you. But I'm really, I'm going to, let me clarify, because I'm picking up this energy where it's almost like the two of cups is giving me this energy where you have such a strong connection with the most high. Or with your ancestors and angels. But let me see. Because it, again it could just mean that maybe this person was hoping to reconcile with you. But maybe you just want to be on your own with the hermit energy. Why is the two of cups here? Why is that here? <laughs> Why is the two of cups here? Two of cups. Could be a love spell. Just saw the magician again. What is the two of cups? Damn, two of swords in the reverse. What is the two of cups? The knight of cups with the eight of pentacles. 
I'm telling you, for some for some of you, this is someone who wants to come towards you. And it has something to do with whatever it is that you do for work or your finances here. Because the two of swords in the reverse talks about seeing the truth. It talks about lies being exposed. Show me more about that two of cups. Yeah, the tower. You know that something here wouldn't be built on a solid foundation. It's a facade. And there we go with the ten of pentacles. What's the eight of pentacles? King of pentacles. Something to do with your finances. Something to do with your stability. What's that seven of swords? Nine of pentacles. What's the seven of swords? Oh, what fell on the floor? The death card. What's the seven of swords? Page of wands. Landed on the eight of swords. Clarify these three cards for that seven of swords. Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot. Whatever the Seven of Swords is, right, you have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. So I feel like a lot of my Virgos, you, this is someone that you can read right through. Because the Seven of Swords are clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, the Death, the Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Chariot. It tells me that for some of you, it's too hard even for this person to get close to you and it feels like because you have moved on page of wands again is that energy of messengers messengers <laughs> messages you you two connected to the i guess the ancestors they say move you say all right <laughs> and for some of us you just know that you are supposed to be single at this time yeah Seven of um, swords with the nine of wands and the two of pentacles. This person could be mad. It's almost that energy of how the hell do you know? How do you know what I want, Virgo? How do you know I want to come over here and, and you know, serve you this seven of swords? How do you know I got a trick up my sleeve? <laughs> what is the lovers in the reverse? You could be dealing with a Gemini. What else am I seeing really strong out here? Um, we have Aries, Aquarius, quite heavy. Um, I mean, there's there's some ones out here, so it could it could be a fire sign. Not really picking up that too heavy, but could be right. Um, yeah, Libra. Then picking up. Let's see, heavy air sign. <laughs> What is the lovers in the reverse? Yeah, judgment. You're free. You're a free soul. And the ace of cups. You have too much self-love. Yeah, and then you've got the three of swords at the bottom of the deck with the ten of cups. This could even be a family member for some of you. Maybe somebody you have family with. Or this is someone who is just heartbroken that you are happy. You're emotionally fulfilled. You've got the moon card, the two of wands, and then you've got this king of cups coming out with the devil. Someone here is obsessed with you. What's the judgment with the ace of cups? Nine of swords. <laughs> and the justice. Hmm. This could be this person's karma losing you. But this is someone who is having anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, regrets. Yeah, about the decisions that they made. Okay. So, Spirit, how is this person working against Virgos? How are they working against Virgo? just see what would come out of here i don't know if this is someone who maybe at one point maybe tried to apologize to you or something like that maybe you rejected that right 
Um, I feel like that just fueled their fire. Because I feel like this is someone who really didn't want you to kind of give up on them. So, yeah, it landed on the nine of wands. Look at that, Aloha healing. You healed from this person. It's a number 19, boils down to a 10. Something here is over. I mean, clearly, full card, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. Surprise, the world didn't come out. You have transitions to the spirit realm. Exactly. And that is why you are free here, Virgos. Okay. Because you've had some sort of transformation. Some sort of upgrade. It's almost like that energy of a death and a rebirth. And then there we go with the ghost people. I feel like you get downloads from the ancestors. One more. And coming in the reverse, it says glamour, intrigue and drama in the reverse. Landed on the five of wands. This could have been someone that you really found really good looking or um, whatever, right? Or really attractive. But I just feel like your perspective has changed for this person. It's a number 14. It boils down to a five. Again, this energy of removing someone's mask. Seeing the true them. And I really feel like for some of you, this may have been someone who put some sort of like, um, I don't know, it kind of feels like a confusion spell or, um, I don't know, it could just be them that was creating the confusion and illusions here. But what exactly was this person projecting towards my Virgos? Okay, it came out. <laughs> you have boundaries. And that, that to me is like the Ace of Swords, but show me more. I feel like that wanted to come out in the reverse, but we have Homecoming, we have Alchemist, we have the Witch's Hat, we have Earth, and it says Grounding. We have Incubation, which to me is like an energy of protection. I'm looking at all the birds in this card as well. And with homecoming, it's almost like spirit. Again, that energy of some sort of, I don't know. I don't necessarily want to use the word initiation, but it could be. But it's almost like you stepped into your power. The witch's hat and the alchemist out here. Three more cards. So you have the wand and intention. You have the respect. And then you have this Wiccan reed, which is like a spell. But you see what I'm seeing here? I feel like no matter what this person was trying to um, project towards you or whatever their intentions here was it feels like I feel like your vibration was too high because it's not really giving me any cards of any of the magic cards in here none of them came out so again with this kind of respect energy here Give me, give me one on the respect. I was just saying, I didn't want to say the word, but it could be initiation. Yeah, this is someone who's going to have to put some respect on your name. I don't know if this is someone where maybe their magic kind of worked with other people. But again, maybe that's why the rejection is out here. Something here cannot reach you. It cannot touch you. They could be working with the moon. This could be moon magic. But you see with the foundation and the homeland. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. 
And this is why I was pointing at this card because it talks about imperfect love. And you know, you know that love is the highest vibration of all. And then we have this ace of chalice coming out. I feel like this is also your ancestors saying that this person cannot come near you. Yeah, look at that protection because you're too loved. You're too loved. You see the circle or the star that she's standing on in this circle? Protection. It's almost the same star in the respect. Maybe some of you have been protecting yourselves. Yeah, some of you may have an altar. Now, Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this person that is working against my Virgos. Tell me more about this energy. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> Look at the first card out. It says, time to let go. <laughs> it says, move the fuck on. <laughs> Spirit, let them know. Mm, this could be someone who drinks a lot with a detox or maybe they indulge in other things. So tell me more about this person. Time to let go. It says stop sleeping so damn much. It says wake up, you're missing some cool shit. So this could be someone who's lazy. They ain't got nothing really going on in their own life. If they're sleeping so much, it seems like they've got a lot of time on their hands. You have put the fucking phone down. It says too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. It says go talk to a live person. This could be someone who is stalking you. You have the lightning bolt. And it says figure shit out on your own. So I don't know if this person is struggling with letting go of your energy well, clearly. <laughs> What's the energy here of this person? Thank you, spirit. So we have shit is going down with your job. It landed on the five of wands. It says reevaluate, change your perspective or fucking quit. This could have also been someone who was trying to create some sort of problems in your workspace. You have love coming out. And it says get some, give some. It says it will cheer your ass up. So I feel like we've stopped sleeping so damn much and this love card... I feel like this is someone who fantasizes about you. You have it landed on the five of wands. It says you are being shady. It says watch out. Shit could get ugly. Anything else about this person? Thank you, Spirit. It says you think someone is lying. It says they are. So this person may be having some sort of shock or epiphany or um, or maybe they're just surprised. That, Like I said, for some of my Virgos, you may even know who this is. For some of you, you may have even said something to this person. Yeah, there we go. It says, you're the best thing to ever happen to you. It says, go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drinks. So again, like I said, someone here could have some sort of a drinking problem. It says, you're giving too many fucks. It says, give zero. This is the blockage for this person. They care, they care way too much. I mean, why would you put so much effort and energy into someone that clearly is not bothered about you, that clearly has moved on? That clearly has healed from you. So you have, you are giving away your power. It says you're a badass, act like it. Like I said, for some of you, this person could have had control over you for a while. It says you do you. It says stop trying to change people. That shit never works. And one more. It says, whatever you are thinking about, it says, don't do it. It says, now is not the fucking time. 
your ancestors is fed up of this person. <laughs> and I feel like it's because, like I said, you have some sort of mission here. It says that project, that person, that idea is waiting. It says, get after that shit. The world has your back. This person tried to hold you back from something. Look at that. Stop obsessing. So let's get a few of these. And then I'm going to end out this reading with some advice from my Virgos. Okay. Anything else? Thank you, Spirit. What turned over? All right. Thank you, Spirit. But I'm going to do it. We have I Just Want Your Money. And you have congratulations, Virgo. You passed the test. So what I'm seeing is, it says, please reconsider us, please. You have jail time. And that can be spiritual jail as well. It says, I have too many options to choose one. It says, I want to wake up with you. It says, mind games only last so long. It says, be my little secret, I won't tell. It says, the past is on its way. It says, I'm married, I wanted to tell you, third party. You have cancer. You have money from out of nowhere, let it rain. It says, it took for my heart to break to see the truth. You have a number three. Well, you have, you came the closest, I had to run. You have STD. You have Taurus. You have Gemini. <laughs> you have date me. You have blue car. It says you're my soulmate. I can feel it. You, it could be a karmic soulmate acting like this. It says I'm sorry. It says she's pregnant. You have Queen Niger and Big Sean. Hate our love. Hating on us. Wishing we would fall. It says do you think about me? You have heard it all before. Lies. It says I put a spell on you and it's backfiring. You have I feel trapped. Illusion. It says new love is on the way. Don't look back to the past. It's a test. You have I love your strength. It says sing with me. So music could have something to do with something. <laughs> but Spirit, what is the advice from my Virgos? Three cards. What is the advice from my Virgos? All right, bottom of the deck, we do have decisions, okay, and dream work. This person could have been trying to confuse you, maybe in your dream state. This could be someone who was maybe trying to confuse your third eye for some of you. But more important, what is coming out on the table is you have creating, okay? Spirit says keep creating. Keep, I'm hearing keep indulging in your passion. You have self-healing, so keep working on yourself. Right, again with the owl. Your ancestors are never far away. And then you also have intuition. So your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. Especially I feel like around the moon cycles. Um, but Virgos, that is what I have for you for who is giving you the evil eye. Who is working against you. For some of you, it's somebody that really wants you. <laughs> so, I don't know. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.